Jubal's Dirty Little Secret. Hello. Hello. Hey, you have a dirty little secret? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so basically my dirty little secret was that I was dating somebody that lived in a different city than me, but they lived in a city where I have a cousin that stays there. And basically he went to the bowling alley and told me he was going with some friends. And my cousin ended up at the same bowling alley and told me he was with a girl. So I drove down there and I was waiting to see if he was going to walk out with her, which he did. And they ended up going to some kind of bar together or something. So I sprayed the front top of his car and his door handles with pepper spray because he has a tendency of like touching his face all the time. And I knew if he touched his door handle, he would end up seeing his hand was wet and put it to his face to smell it, which he did. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know. I know. I shouldn't wow. say this out loud. Burning. Yeah, he was like literally screaming in the parking lot that his eyes was burning. And boys are never any help because all of his friends was just recording him, laughing at him. <laughs> saying like, oh, I think it's an eyelash in my eye. Like something's in there I can't see. And then he started calling me. He started calling me like, I need help. I need your help. And the whole time I'm thinking like, you don't even know. Why can't your you eyes are burning because you got pepper spray in your eye. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's well, so good. Yeah. pretty good. Honestly, I love intelligent revenge stories. Yeah. Like, there's something about it, and I shouldn't say that out loud, but this one's funny. <laughs> well, thank you yeah. for telling us your dirty little secret. I'm sure you've inspired a lot more people to have a, a way to get revenge if they get cheated on. <laughs> have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Hello? Hello. Hey, what's up? You have a dirty little secret? I have a dirty little secret. Sweet. Um, so I'm in the process of getting a divorce, uh -huh. and... I empower myself by doing these little things like peeing in my soon-to-be ex-husband's Peloton shoes. Uh, um, what? He makes a smoothie every morning with zucchini, and a couple of times I've, like, rubbed it on my butt. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. There was an incident with his toothbrush that we probably shouldn't mention on air. An incident? <laughs> wow. Wow. So basically you're peeing and, and rubbing his stuff all over you. Yeah. I did scrub the dog bowl with um, his hairbrush also. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> are you, you guys are still living together while you're getting divorced? Um, we are getting divorced because I found in his email a folder of nudes from a coworker. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh, damn. Right. Well, you're still living together, though. That was the question. I'm not leaving this house, or I'm getting this house, or I'm getting half of it. I think I'm this not is leaving. just proof that if you're going through a divorce, you should probably separate. <laughs> <Otherwise, laughs> I mean, you're gonna have all your stuff peed on and rubbed it on things. But at this point, it's making her mental feel way better. Yeah, oh. I'd be pretty upset about that folder too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, thank you for telling us your dirty little secret. Thank you for letting me share my dirty little secret. Of course. Have a good one. What's your dirty little secret?